In today's video, we're taking a look at two smart telescopes, the Dwarf 3 by Dwarf Lab and the C-Star S30 by ZWO. And we're specifically taking a look at how well each of them images the sun using their included solar filters. So hope you will join me for the next couple of minutes. Starting off in the Dwarf 3, you go into photo mode and then centre the sun. Make sure you've got the solar filter on there first, of course. And then I use autofocus to focus on the sunspot there near the 12 o'clock position. And this is a saved JPEG. It's hard to see anything on this particular day. There's not many sunspots, but there's a fairly clear one near the 12 o'clock position. We can see that a little bit more clearly if we zoom in now traces of some spots near the bottom of the six o'clock position and over on the S30 it's a similar procedure really same auto focusing as before using the limb here to auto focus and again a saved JPEG and on this particular image, the, the sunspot's a bit more clear at the 12 o'clock position and so are sunspots lower down. And I'll show you a side by side now. So the Dwarf 3 on the left is much brighter, whilst the S30 is a warmer orange image. But I wasn't convinced that I did everything right that day, so here we have another day with a slightly different sunspot pattern you can still see that the sea star is showing them more clearly now the sunglasses on the dwarf 3 don't allow you to change the filter very easily but the round filters on the s30 have enabled us to use barda solar film which is really good for showing more detail than just sunspots here we can see that we've got some granulation as well as the sunspots and the umbra and penumbra around the sunspots and faculty patterns on the sun. So definitely I'd recommend the Barda solar filter if you've got a S30. I'll put links in the description. Uh, thanks very much to my channel members and patrons for all the support you give the channel and I hope to see you all on the next video.